Hey everyone, Simo Bowtie here with another episode of Trauma Team with special guests, Caleb, Taylor, and sorry, I accidentally clicked on the thing to go. Oh, whatever, it's fine, let's go. Every time, Taylor, every time. There's no damage to the pelvis. I should look at its shape just in case. We can determine something from the shape of the pelvis. Like next is the back of the head. The cranial sutures have begun to fuse, but they aren't completely fused yet. This is what's causing the cranial sutures to resemble broken ones instead of solid ones. At first I thought I had two stores already, and I was like, um, oh, what? Cranial sutures can tell something about a body. Now we want to look at his eyeballs. Eyeballs, and we're not. This still has triangular orbital bones. Or try clicking it in your nuggets. Is there any information that can be deduced by the shape of the orbital bones? And then there was some teeth. Yeah, I think teeth. No. Ooh. Yeah, I clicked teeth already. Hmm. It's not here. Let me go look back at the card because it tells you where to look. It told me to look at the ribs. I looked at the ribs. Here we go. The German physician Blumenbach established a distinction of five major branches. Of I love that name. One point mentioned in Blah. determining a person's Blah. race by skeletal features is the shape of the orbital bones. Comparing this with the materials at hand, this skeleton's race is. Okay. Indeed. This skull has the characteristics of a Caucasian. An individual's gender can be determined by the shape of the pelvis. According to the materials at hand, the skeleton's gender is... <laughs> Both! <laughs> 2020, I mean. Yes. The pelvis I told you from the beginning it was going to be a guy. <laughs> At least we know it's a woman. I said it was a male. The, uh, we, we both said it was a guy. Okay. Alright. I actually have to read this one. This become visible to the naked eye in the mid-40s, beginning fusing in the 50s, and have completely fused by the early 60s. Partially fused. So he's going to be in his 50s. That's right. A person's age at death can be determined from the state of the cranial sutures. The cranial sutures here have partially fused in... Most of the, uh, the other stuff was like common sense type. Yeah. But that one, I wasn't sure. Yes. The fusing is consistent with that of a person in their 50s. In other words, it means that this person was around 50 years old at the time of death. Fifteen types of amino acids were detected in the skeleton. There was a very high concentration of nitrogen as well. If I compare this information with the materials available... Oh no. Guys, was it a couple months ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. That's why I lose a heart. I'm blaming you. That's right. We can assume that this person died somewhere around two years ago. Hmm. Someone had this disease two years ago? 
long before this pandemic began. Because it was just inside of itself. But if I consider it in light of other information, a Caucasian male in his 50s who died two years ago and was familiar with viruses, all the information we need has been gathered. Now we'll be able to figure out whose remains these truly are. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he, y'all? I already told you who I thought he was. But well, he did. We couldn't identify this body after all. But there is an important fact that I understand now. First, let's sort out what we do now. We'll talk later. Oh. First is the time since death. The is she talking to the skeletons? No, I think she's talking to either Gabe or Little Guy. Yes. The nitrogen and amino acids in the bones. In the middle of a field. That's what definitely. I know. I was like, I was surprised that they're showing the actual place where this happened. This suggests oh, okay. that the body wasn't underwater or buried. Next, I have the card stating the gender of the body. Now this card. Definitely a male. Correct. The shape of the pelvis. That item would be around the pelvis area to tell you. Hey. However, he had a thin build. Oh my god. He could hardly be muscular. No, he had a thin build because he didn't have any bones. Next, the age. This card tells our findings. This ball. That big brain there. Yes. <laughs> I mean, so with age. This proves that this person was at least in his 50s. It's possible to determine his race as well. This card! This card shows my conclusion based on the evidence. I... Oh, oh sorry. Racial differences are mainly nah, 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 nah. in the I turn right where yeah. Sockets, cheekbones, nose nah, 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 nah. Spooky, spooky, that the spooky spooky scary ones or is it just Our spooky scary skeleton? Now yeah, spooky scary scale scale scale. not spooky spooky skeleton. What? Uh, I believe this card shows what he did for a living. Also, I missed all of this. The needles. He is a health professional. Yes. The if irony. The items belong to him. <laughs> in addition, I mean, it's likely a lot of doctors died during the practice of studying viruses. I get it. And there are a lot of doctors who have now, injected themselves with things. What was the cause yes, because the no one else demise. would allow them to do it or whatever, and they ended up here all things. kinds of different things. Like when they first invented penicillin. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. is a really good example. He accidentally oh, right on counter and came back kind of like killed stuff. And was like crap. Let's test it. Amazing. Uh, at some point we're gonna see cheat. Don't lie. It comes busted in before you finish. Into the mucous membranes on contact. He died like the man Gabe diagnosed. Hemorrhagic fever. Did that man actually die? He understood. The one that he um he tested, there's no proof that he has or he hasn't. I mean, he it wasn't looking good for him. Last for sure. he had to Maybe we'll get a happy ending we chose him. Is the truth illuminated by the light of this life? So, wait, was he apologizing then to see I can use the data to find an individual. If this is. He's. Oh, give us oh, the come luscious. On. Give us the luscious purple locks. Purple? Hey. Isn't that purple? Hey, listening? Where are you going? Just be quiet and follow me. We need to talk to the chief. Chief, I'd like to speak with you. With your hollow eyes? Ugh. What did you say? It may be hard to believe, but listen to me, please. The bones Gabe came here with contained the infectious virus. But since the infection is not carried by air, the chances of these bones being a source of pandemic is low. However, 
They may still be a clue to finding a solution. I can't believe the two of you could find out so much. She sounds with my, without my permission, Ian. She sounds guilty. Dr. Tachibana should be done with a biopsy mm -hmm. on the same virus. Nah, I'm sure I can't that. believe you found out That's so much. That's her no. within this whole entire series. Like she's very naive to like these guys' design? professions. It's every day. It's like hopeless. the disease advances too rapidly. The infected will all die before we finish the DNA analysis. God damn it! Isn't there any other lead we can follow? This isn't a clue, but I have one more thing I must report. You must report? I compared the reconstructed bones to our database. Only one person was a match for the data we had. Who is it? Him? Yes, Albert Sartre, a professor of virology. Can't tell if it's purple. Vanished after the Cumberland College incident. It's purple to me. Just saying, it looks purple. I think it's like blackish. All right, that that episode. Hope you guys enjoy, especially figuring out who it is and where we're going with and this. And how the plot's thickening. Woo!